So guys, earlier this week we covered does spinal manipulation work for chronic low back pain? Perhaps an even more important question, does it actually work for acute low back pain? You ready to find out? Let's dive in. Hey guys, Khalid here. Welcome back to Clinical Physio. So recently I just covered whether or not spinal manipulative therapy has a role for treating patients with persistent low back pain. And today I want to dive into a different area of this by checking out whether or not it works for acute low back pain. And I have a pretty good piece of research to help me do this. So what we have is a Cochrane review, commonly described as one of the highest forms of clinical medical research. This one is called Spinal Manipulative Therapy for Acute Low Back Pain, done by Rubenstein et al. Let me read you the results. Don't hurt me all at once. Here we go. Spinal manipulative therapy is no more effective in participants with acute low back pain than inert interventions, sham spinal manipulative therapy or when added to other interventions. Spinal manipulative therapy also appears to be no better than other recommended therapies. Ouch. Okay, 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 okay. I always want to bring a balanced argument when it comes to our channel. And so first of all, I need to point out a really important point that the authors made when it came to the quality of the research that they had to analyse. So in this Cochrane review, Rubenstein et al. started with 20 different pieces of research to analyse. But they quickly brought that down to only six because they found that 14 of them couldn't be trusted because of a high risk of bias. So that's the first problem. The second problem is that out of those six, they only found that three were genuinely comparable. And as you can imagine, that's not a lot of research to go off. And that concluded them to write in their review that the amount of research that they had to go by should not be considered robust. So as a result, what can we take away from this review? What do I take away from this review? Well, I think the first thing is to highlight that spinal manipulative therapy is not an essential. It's part of a choice of treatments that are available to therapists and to patients. And that brings a really important line in the researcher's review, which is as follows. The decision to refer patients for spinal manipulative therapy should be based upon costs, preferences of the patients and providers, and relative safety of spinal manipulative therapy compared to other treatment options. Now, why is that important? So safety-wise, I'm not too concerned about this one. There's plenty of evidence out there that highlights that on the whole, spinal manipulative therapy does not harm patients. Now, the second point, based on the preferences of patients and providers, this is potentially a big one. We know that spinal manipulative therapy is one of those treatments where if a patient believes in it, if they believe in that pop, in that crack, that it's genuinely moving structures around, moving that nerve to a place where it's less compressed, that they're more likely to get on with it. But this also creates an inherent problem, which is that we know there are lots of therapists out there who really go to town painting that picture. Oh yeah, when we do this, it's going to crack it and move it out of place. When we do this, it's going to make sure that that nerve gets completely freed up. And unfortunately, the evidence potentially suggests that that isn't always the case. So then that final point of cost. Now, you guys know this. I know this. There are definitely therapists out there. Not all of them. But there are therapists out there who will tell patients, you need to come and see me for 30, 40, 50 sessions of spinal manipulation in order for this to have an effect. This costs hundreds of pounds of dollars every single year and it's just plain wrong. So my balanced takeaway point here, if a patient is thinking that they really want to try spinal manipulation, sure, give it a go. There isn't much harm for it and the review suggests that it can be as effective as other treatment options. But don't believe the hype. 
it's definitely not the only option available to you. You don't have to go for 30, 40, 50 sessions just to get some improvements in your symptoms. And if you don't believe in it, that's okay. There are plenty of other options that you can use to help your acute low back pain. And guys, if you want more on this subject, then I have done a video earlier this week about the effects of spinal manipulation on long-term low back pain, and that is definitely worth checking it out. And if you wanna check it out, you'll find it up here. So guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Please support us by smashing that like button. And if you want more from us, then head to our website, clinicalphysio.com, loads of resources for physiotherapists. I'm Khalid, see you soon here on Clinical Physio.